Hey, how are you? Happy Tuesday. Taco Tuesdays. Yay. <laughs> well, right now it's time out with Julie at noon. I'm going to most likely, please, Jesus, let my, my schedule always abide. Uh, I'm going to try and do these live trainings every Tuesday at 12 o'clock so we get consistent, you guys, because it's all about consistency. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to bring this training to you today because the question I get asked most is, Julie, how the heck do we stand out in social media? So I'm going to be getting to that in just a minute. Amy, happy birthday. I think I saw it was your birthday today, girl. If it was today, let me know. Here's my happy birthday. I was getting to my birthday messages and I saw it pop up. Um, so official happy birthday here. But yeah, as you're tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from. I am sitting in a parking lot. Um, last minute, um, I'm going to get like a last minute hair color. She got me in like ladies, you know how this is. Like, so I'm texting her this morning, my hairdresser, and I'm like, Hey, um, the grays are coming out. Yes, I'm gray. I know I'm 41. I've been gray since I'm 20. I will admit it. You guys like I'm Italian, this dark hair and like the gray show. So anyways, um, if that's all I really have to complain about, I guess I'm like ahead of the game at 41. If all I'm going to complain about is the grays. Anyways, I'm like, listen, you got to get me in. I have no time this week. And so anyway, she's like, got me in. So I'm sandwiched in between me doing work here with you and then like going to big pick up my boys from camp. Of course, I left my earpiece at home. So you guys let me know if you could hear me. Okay. South Africa is in the house. What's up, Sharon? Hello, Kelly from Ontario. Also, you guys, if you, if you have teammates, if you have friends, if you know any other home-based entrepreneurs that are like, how do I stand out in this noisy, noisy world? And you know, what it comes down to is writing like a compelling message it, or, or not even like writing a compelling message or doing a Facebook live that is like a, com a compelling message. I'm going to walk you through six ways you can do this. Okay. <laughs> Amy's been great since she's been 20 as well. So awesome. Um, Colton, Colton, I tried reaching out to you and I got no answer. So if you're on here, just know I reached out to you, no answer. So we'll have to, uh, hopefully reschedule. Um, anyway, so how do you make your message so compelling that people can't ignore you? Because that's really what you want to do, right? As business owners, if you are new to who I am, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of create success with Julie.com. I started an online space two years ago. I, um, I'm a brand strategist. I help people get, be heard, be seen. I teach people how to brand themselves and to really understand online marketing, um, because it's fun and because it leverages your time. Um, and so if that's you, if you want to learn online marketing strategies, how to brand yourself, how to stand out. Um, I also teach people about, you know, um, sales automation, which includes funnels. It's something that I absolutely love. So if all that sounds good, stick with me. I've been in net network marketing now for six years. I transitioned to another company a year ago and flew to the top of my new company in a year. Why? Because I built my own personal brand. It's super important. I see a lot of people doing it wrong. Um, so stay tuned because I have a, a free resource, brand new free resource coming to your inbox soon. Um, hopefully the beginning of next week. So if you're on my email list, keep your eyes peeled for it. And um, I'm going to be talking about the five mistakes I see um, online entrepreneurs make when it comes to branding. But today I want to talk to you about how to stand out. Okay. So how do you make yourself different? If you guys want to know how you can stand out and make yourself different, like if you feel like this is something you've struggled with, I want you to drop me a one below. Okay. Drop me a one below. Hey Judy, what's up girl? Yeah. And, um, also share this out. That's what I was. Let me go back. My head, my brain works faster than my mouth. Okay. Share this out. And when you share it out, put share in the comment section. If you have a team member, if you have friends tag, tag them here, you guys, I love giving away, um, free branding coaching sessions. Okay. So what we'll do is I take whoever shares and write shares here or tax people. I take you, I put you into a group and then I pull, I raffle, I do a raffle of a free 30 minute session with me. 
for total free, like no strings attached. So if you do that, right, share, I'll give you a shout out. Um, hey from Texas, how are you? Because here's the thing, I think a lot of people need to know this, uh, need to hear this message. So thank you, Judy, for sharing. I appreciate you. All right, so let's just get, like, let's just dive right in, all right? Because I know this, this is something that is heavy on people's hearts, on their mind. They're sick of being on like a million different platforms. I'm gonna tell you right now, you do not need to be on 500 different platforms. I don't even think there's 500, but that, I over-exaggerate, guys. All right, you just don't. I am on Instagram, but I don't work Instagram. I am on LinkedIn, but I don't work LinkedIn. I have a Pinterest account, but I don't work Pinterest. I am on Facebook, and I work Facebook, okay? Um, it just is what's worked for me, and so that's what I teach. I teach how to... How to um, create curiosity on your personal page and then how to build out a fan page community, which is also known as a business page. So most importantly, how do you stand out from the crowd and actually connect with people? So number one, thank you, Carrie, for sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing. Really appreciate it. Um, okay. Number one, if you're taking notes, grab a pen and paper, hurry up. I know I'm in my, in my little car here, but grab something. Like I got my little Starbucks sandwich, right? I'd be writing on that. All right. So here we are. Number one, be relevant. Be relevant, okay? Say something that is going to resonate with your audience of who, whom you are looking to attract to you. All right? So let me give you a little story as an example. So when I am crafting, like, whether it's a social media post, and you guys, I'm going to relate these six things to whether you are doing social media posts, Facebook Live videos, blogs, emails. I have several people that follow me, right, that are doing funnels and sales pages. So it's basically in your marketing. You need to understand marketing, okay? That this is like marketing 101. Be relevant. So in my message, I've shared stories before about my network marketing experience. And one of it was a story that I was at my friend Stacy's house, a team member. And I walked in and she was doing the home party and I never, I never personally ever hosted my own home party. Now this was a couple years ago. Okay. Now I never hosted my own home parties. I would do home parties, however, for my team because I grew a huge team. I was making multiple, multiple six figures in my last company and walked, yes, I walked away from it. I resigned and started over. But listen to me, when I went into this girl's house, I was so prepared for this home party. I had you know, my presentation, I had my pens, I had my application, sign up sheets, whatever. Um, you know, I gathered her people around. You guys, I did this presentation for, I think it was like almost freaking 90 minutes, way too long, number one. Number two, at the end of the presentation, she says to me, I can't do what you just did. And I looked at her like, and I was like shocked. I'm like, what? And she's like, there's no way I can duplicate what you just did. And I was like, Oh my gosh. And I went home that night and this was early on in my network marketing career, probably five and a half years ago. And I, I looked at like everything I was doing. I was like, Oh my gosh, I have to be relevant. I have to be, I have to keep things so simple. So when I mean be relevant, it is say something that's going to resonate. You want to resonate with your audience. So when I share that marketing message and I attract network marketers to me, right? Cause that's, that's who I'm attracting. I know my ideal audience, I know my ideal client, I attract them with my marketing because I'm resonating with them because they're also thinking, yes, I too have gone to home parties and I wait, I did stuff that people also couldn't duplicate, right? So it's just, you got to resonate. So think about ways of, think about those you're looking to attract and how you can resonate with them through sharing stories. Okay. Two, number two. Okay. Yes, DD, you need to focus on one. Yes, we're, yes, platforms, yes. Thank you, Lindsay, for sharing. So number two, be relevant. Number or number one, be relevant. Number two, personalize your message. Nobody buys from someone that they don't like and trust. Okay, thank you, Vicki, for sharing. So if you're only posting about business, then they won't ever get to know you, right? Like. I've been very successful in network marketing from the get-go, I believe. I don't have the rags to riches story. I'm sorry. I know we're supposed to like pull people through the muck. I get it. 
you guys, I want to like shortcut your learning experience because I didn't, I didn't go through muck. Yeah, I had people saying you're in a pyramid scheme and best friends like knock me for network marketing, but I laughed. I was like, whatever, dude, like, I don't care what you think, right? You're some dried up accountant, like, cause they hated their job. So they were sitting there making fun of me, but I'm like, you're miserable. See guys, this is how my mind works. And this is where you need to get more bold and brazen and understand that if you're in network marketing or, or you want to start your own coaching business or you're an affiliate marketer, whatever you are, and you enjoy it, then screw what everyone else thinks. Okay. So listen to me. I had to personalize my message. So if you're only posting about business, they're not going to they're, they're not going to know the true you. So why would they connect with somebody that they don't know? Right? So think about if you want to establish credibility, if you want to establish that trust, allow people to get to know and like you and reveal a little bit about your life. So when I started in network marketing and I started utilizing Facebook to, um, create curiosity and posts and you know, like how we're taught in network marketing, like I never spammed. I did it the right way, I attracted a lot of people in and they were like, what the heck are you doing? Right. That didn't know what I was doing. And then I would send them a personalized message through, um, Facebook at the time. This is before we had like messenger and vo voice recording and all that. Now I use it all day long. So think about, are you, are you developing that no like and trust factor with your audience? And the way that you do that is by branding yourself and personalizing your message. Okay. Number three, you guys, um, is tell stories. Okay. We all know this, right? People are hardwired, hardwired to pay attention to stories. That's like when you draw them in and you say, listen, I have a story to tell you. As soon as you say that, they're like, ah. Oh, even in my Facebook ads, I'm like, Hey, I have a story for you and I'll take them through a journey. If I'm writing like a Facebook ad, if it's a post, let's say you're not doing Facebook ads and you're just doing a post, you could say once upon a time, dot, dot, dot. Like we're hardwired just to like be drawn in with stories. Stories are engaging. They're entertaining. The minute you start telling a story and the best is through a Facebook live like this, you disarm people. So like people have a wall and then once you let them in and tell a story, it's like the wall just crumbles. It's like, you know, the Berlin wall, <laughs> like, seriously, that's what happens. Their resistance drops. Okay. They start paying attention. It goes up and they're captivated. Um, so for example, like think about when you go see a movie, okay? Like, you know, the movie is probably far fetched. Like, you know, Fast and the Furious. Let's just go there. Like I watched them all. I think there was like eight of them. I know. Don't laugh at me. My husband and I love Fast and the Furious. Anyways, God rest your soul, Paul Walker. Um, but when you're in a movie, you know, it's not a true story, right? Even if it's, it, even if it's based on a true story, like, I don't know if it's a true story, but like, I love the movie, the notebook. Okay. I just, it engage. I just love it. Okay. So even if it's based on a true story or not based on a true story, you know, it's just a movie, you know, it's maybe not real life, right? But for those two hours, you are fully engaged in the movie. Even if you're eating popcorn, even if you're eating jujubes, like you're fully engaged in watching the movie because it's, it's, it's the story that sucks you in. So it's the same thing with your audience. Tell stories, open up. If you don't want to give away the whole kit and caboodle, that's okay. But at least start chipping away and, you know, sharing a little bit here and there. Let them in. All right. Four. Four. Um, talk about emotions. I say this all the time. Don't focus on features. You want to highlight benefits and use emotion, emotional impacting words. So people buy emotional and then they, they don't buy off of logic right? Like they'll justify it later with logic, but the decision is off of buying emotionally. Like, so ladies, if you're out and you're like at the store, you're at Nordstrom's and you know, like me, I am just a shoe freaking fanatic. Like I don't need any more shoes. It's ridiculous. When I think about it, even right now, I'm like, I, I just, I can't. But if I am at Nordstrom's and I see like these freaking cute pair of like pumps 
with wedges and like ankle straps and some crystals, like what have you. I don't care what it is. I will buy those dang things, okay? Because I'm buying off emotion. And I might sit there and be like, oh, but I have so many shoes. And then I'll look at the shoe again and I'm like, oh, forget it. I need that shoe because that's the last pair of size eight, all right? Do you guys get me? If you feel me, drop me a heart right now because I'm telling you, people buy off emotions. Um, so the decision is basically, like I said, it's logic later. So, so, so charge your words. What I'm saying is charge your words with emotions. Look at what you're posting. Look, look at what you're posting. If you're doing Facebook ads, look at your Facebook ads, look at your email, look at your blog, look at your sales letter and ask yourself, how can I make it more appealing? How can I make this more compelling? How can I make it more emotional? Like how can I relate to them, right? And using all the relevance, the telling the story, um, personalizing the message, right? How can I make it more emotional? So the answer to those questions relies on hitting a specific pain or frustration points or talking about goals, dreams, and desires. So that's how you do it, okay? So how can I make it more riveting, more compelling, more emotional? These are the things that you want to ask yourself. Um, so also you wanna ask yourself is, what is it about my product, my service, or my business opportunity that is going to appeal to people on an emotional level? Okay. So for example, with my what like we have products in my network marketing company that help with weight loss. We have products that help with anti-aging. Okay. So I might say reverse aging without the price tag. You want to know more. I might say, let's get rid of the fine lines without the needles. Would you like to learn more? Right. And then I'm like doing a Facebook live and I'm highlighting the collagen product, right? And I'm, I'm like holding the bottle, but I'm holding the bottle like this. They can see it, but they can't see the name. And I'm talking about all the benefits of what this product gives emotionally. So then they don't have to go and spend, you know, thousands of dollars on Botox. They don't have to go and spend. And I might hold up some before and after pictures, just a few. I don't want to flood them with a lot, but I'd be like, hey, look at Amy or hey, look at, you know, Sue. Like, look at this. This is in so many days, right? And I'm doing this on a Facebook Live. You guys, I've done this before with a weight loss product that my company has. And I had 10 people order in one day, okay? So what I'm giving to you right now works. And I made the headline, ladies, do you want a reunion with your skinny jeans? Let's talk about it. And I put the arrow down and I did the Facebook Live, right? And so I had people tune in and it's not what happens on the live, it's also what happens in after the live, but you need a compelling headline to get them to watch that live. Okay. Does this make sense? You guys, this makes sense. <laughs> Say yes in the comment section. If you are still with me. All right. We're almost through here. Okay. I'm on number, um, number five, curiosity marketing. Use the how to. Okay. This is what I use in my marketing all the time. Human beings are very curious by nature. I've built my entire business. I've made over seven figures inside of network marketing by creating curiosity and not spamming. Okay. So we are just curiosity beings. So when we see something that provokes our curiosity, we automatically want answers. And here's another thing. We only have seven seconds to grab their attention. That's why I like curiosity headlines. That's why I like curiosity marketing. Okay. So here's an example. When I use popular headlines, it's simple. It's how to blank. Okay. So how to build your business. Now I even take it a step further and I go how to blank without blank, how to build your business without ever walking into another coffee shop. <laughs> okay. How to explode your business online within 10 minutes a day. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like it's, there's, there's curiosity there. Like people are like, oh my gosh. Now I'm speaking to my ideal target market because I know who my ideal target market is. You have to understand who yours is. Um, how to use the internet to grow your team. I'm giving you examples of my curiosity headlines. Okay. 
So it immediately triggers a question in your head, even though I'm not um, directly asking a question. So how to blank, or you could use how to blank without blank, how to lose 10 pounds in the next 10 days without dieting, okay? How to use these two specific oils that will help your child eczema without breaking your bank. I don't know. Again, it's just, it's off the top of my head. Okay. So get creative with it. All right. And then number six, answer this. I want you to answer the what's in it for me. Let me check my time guys. Okay. I got it. Five more minutes, um, which will be done soon. Thanks for hanging with me. You guys, are you guys getting value? If you're getting value from this, put value in the comments. And if you did not share, you better share this because I'm telling you this is marketing goods, okay? This is market. This is how you bring your message to market, right? These are the six ways. All right, so answer this question. What's in it for me? And I don't mean you. Like, I mean, you're asking yourself that question for your audience. You got to start putting yourself in your audience's minds, okay? So I'm teaching you a little bit psychology here. Always answer what's in it for me when you're creating a post, a blog, an email, whatever it is, your Facebook ad, whatever you're utilizing. Thank you guys for all the value. I appreciate that. Okay, so you can tell your story, you can use emotions, you can make it personal, you can provoke their curiosity and all of that good stuff that I'm teaching you. But at the end of the day, when people read your message, they want to know what's in it for me, how is it going to help me, and how is this going to benefit me? You guys, again, what's in it for me, how is this going to help me? And what's the benefit to me? These are the three questions your prospects have in their mind. Shelly, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. So always be thinking about this and how you can offer your benefits to your prospect. How is it going to help them? Okay. You have to understand this. So something like an exercise I did when I was learning like marketing, I would look at objects laying around my house. My mentor told me, look at objects hanging around your house and ask yourself these questions. Why did I buy this? Okay. What, what is it ultimately that I wanted to do with this? And how is this making my life easier or better? What's in it for me? So I could take an eye cream that I bought off of somebody instead of just going down to CVS and buying an eye cream. Why am I, you know, buying this, um, you know, eye eye cream from XYZ company, right? Um, So why did I buy this? I'd, I'd hold the eye cream and say, okay, Julie, why did I buy this? What is it ultimately that I wanted to do with this eye cream and how is this eye cream making my life better or easier and what's in it for me? Okay. You could do this, do this with certain things in your house and just start taking note because I'm going to tell you it's not what's in it for you that gets people to join, sign up or hire you. It's what's in it for them and how you convey that message to them. Cool. Good stuff, guys. So let me just recap real quick. Number one, you want to be relevant. Resonate with your audience. Number two, personalize your message. Okay. Nobody buys from people that they don't know, like, and trust. You have to personalize it. Be, be vulnerable. Three, tell stories. Four, you want to talk with emotions. Talk about their emotions. Talk about how they're feeling, right? What is their pain and frustrations? Um, Number five is curiosity marketing. Use the how-to statement. And then number six is answer the um, what's in it for me question, you guys. All right? Awesome. Listen, um, in case you didn't hear, I have a um, monthly membership, my Brand Masters Academy which I'm working on now. I, I plan on launching in August. I have a wait list of a couple hundred people. You will get in at an exclusive um, founder's price. I promise you the price will be going up. I am going to be, so it's like a two part. So some of it's gonna be um, like basically done for you, social media, images. I know people ask me all the time, how do you get your images? Where do you get your image from? Like to help you with posting more vibrant, beautiful images that take notice. I get asked this all the time. So whether they're my inspirational quotes, my memes, you could, it's like a swipe. So you just 
we do all the work for you and you swipe it and you have 30 of them you can use throughout the month and you could basically brand it to yourself. Okay. That is going to be monthly. Plus I will be coming to you with a training a month. Okay, talking about branding, how to build up your, your content, how to create more influence, how to sell more, all of this stuff, you guys, this is what I want to teach you. It all kind of falls under the umbrella. It all starts with branding and nobody is teaching this. Okay. Um, content marketing is my forte. So I'm going to be teaching you content marketing and, um, and then I'll probably show up twice a month for live Q and A. So you get me as well and I'll pull in guest experts here and there. So it's going to be amazing at like an um, unbelievable beta price. So if you want to get on the list, you got to type list in the comment section, because like I said, I am opening it and then I am closing it. Okay. And I will relaunch it later, but I'm going to be doing this as more of a beta group monthly, um, with this founder's price, um, for those that, of you that get in right away. Okay. So if you want to get on list, just type list and we'll get you, um, we'll get you the form and you can fill that out. All right, guys, listen, I got to run, got to get the hair did. And, uh, thanks for hanging with me this afternoon. I look forward to coming to you live every single Tuesday at 12 o'clock, whether it's me or I'll be hosting, um, live interviews with some awesome people in our industry that will bring you um, some more goods. You guys, I love doing interviews. So if you like to have anybody inside of our community and you'd like to have me interview anybody in particular, just put their name below as well. I had some people do that last week. Um, so I could start putting that together. I'd like to do at least one interview a month um, and bring more value to all of you. All right, guys, thanks for hanging. I'll see you real soon. Bye.